Welcome to this episode of Catching Up With Your Saka Stationery. So, so casual. casual. We have May here today. You look so cute in your yellow beanie. It's Thank one you. of my favorite <laughs> accessories that you wear. It's like the most colorful thing I own. It's very colorful. You look so cute in it. Yeah. Um, so this past week at Yoseka, we have been very busy with lots of things. Um, and one of the things that we did this past week was we went to a trade show. Um, I think a few months ago, Ashley was on Catching Up and she was uh, sharing her first trade show experience. Mm -hmm. And this time around, we brought May and Alex with yeah. us. How was it? It was great. <laughs> um, it was really fun. We were so Alex and I were so excited. We were like, we were oh my god, so we get our name tag, mm -hmm. and lanyard. <laughs> Wait, what name tag? You know, like the oh, the, the name tag. tag. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Like when the security yeah. passes. Yeah, yeah. I, I love getting like official passes. To right, things. that's what <laughs> you were so saying. <laughs> Neil and I left early, and then Alex and May went back because they <laughs> yeah. were having so much fun. Um, so what? What were, what were some highlights of your trade show, your first um, trade show experience? Well, it was really fun, like, <laughs> looking at everything, but it was also kind of embarrassing because um, Alex and I basically didn't know what trade shows are, like, how they work. <laughs> we thought, okay, like, it's a show where, like, all these vendors come out and, like, we get to see their, like, products and, right. like, new stuff. Yeah. But I thought, like, you could actually, like, purchase things right. like individually, like right. retail. Right. So for a while, Alex and I like were going around like, oh, I'm going to come back to buy that. Oh like, my I'm God. Get that. Making shopping lists. Yeah. That's so funny. <laughs> well, you saved yourself some cash. Yeah. <laughs> we, we did end up like asking some like people. <gasps> you did? Like, vendors like, oh, can, can, can I buy this? And they were like, no. Yeah. Like, you can't buy it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is this when you went back? Yeah, oh, and then insane. and then we lost steam like the second half that we were there because <laughs> you kept getting rejected. Yeah, and like we realized um, this is like not what we thought. We That's were. so funny. Yeah, I mean, for yeah. those of you who don't know, trade shows are like, um, you know, they're for people who have shops like 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 Yoseka to go and check out the brands mm -hmm. and like their new collections and maybe to find some new things to bring into the store. So everything is like a sample. Right. Um, and nothing is for sale because they only have like one of everything mm -hmm. in their product lineup. Um, but it is like displayed beautifully and it's all very tempting. Yeah. Um, and we went to the trade show it was called shop Object, So it was like very, not just stationary, but right. like lifestyle and things like that. Mm -hmm. You were, you were having fun at Yamazaki. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> any, any other Yamazaki lovers out there? <laughs> it's fun to see all those things like in person. Like yes. The bigger items that, you know, I've just been eyeing. Yeah. Website. It's basically like um, Ikea. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, but like all more these... Japanese <laughs> right. like aesthetic. Yeah. 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 So you had fun. Mm -hmm. And you got, I got you did get freebies. some stuff, right? Mm -hmm. What did you get? Um, so both Alex and I got a Leuchtturm notebook. Yeah. And they were engraving them or like embossing them. Right. So we got that. Ooh. <laughs> Did you do your initials or did you do? Um, Alex did her initials. Uh huh. I haven't told you this, but I got my. What did you do? I got my new. Um, I don't know if I want to say this. Oh camera, shoot! But I got oh someone else's name on it. <gasps> oh. It's, go oh it's gonna be a gift. God, that's really sweet. Nay. I mean, I was so thinking cute. like, oh, I'm getting a freebie from this event, and I'm gonna gift it. So it's like two birds. At <laughs> That's really nice. I'm just being frugal, guys. Yeah, no, it's no, it's nice that you thought of, thought of him <laughs> at that time. Um, yeah, it was really fun. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm glad you, you'd go back with us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 I'd be more like professional the next time I go. <laughs> it's funny though because I'm we bro we braked for lunch um, in the middle of the day and I was like. Dead. I was dead tired. I'm. I don't know. Like I don't know what, but like the trade shows really take it out of me because mm. it's a lot of walking around. Yeah. 
And I just, I was so surprised that you guys were ready to go back yeah, to round two like, because I was so tired. <laughs> But I'm glad you guys enjoyed yourselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I did vlog when we went. So we have a vlog coming out for that day. And I hope it was my first time like vlogging from my point of view. Yeah. And you um, were vlogging the whole day. <laughs> I know. I know. I, at some point I lost steam when it was just me uh, and Jacob yeah. at home at some point. <laughs> that's, that's the stuff you want to see. I know. But I was also so tired. I actually like I had to take a nap at like 7 o'clock. Mm, that's, that's when you do a time lapse. Oh, yeah. So okay. you don't have to talk. Yeah. You don't have to like be yeah. on. Yeah. That's a good one. I'll yeah. keep that in mind for next time. Yeah. Thank you, May. <laughs> May is the vlogger here. Um, so yeah, let us uh, let us know if you've been liking the vlogs. We've been doing a lot of those videos, and yeah. May is responsible for a lot of those, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and Alex too. And Alex, yeah. Um, so what else? Any anything else you've been working on recently um, that well, you want to share with everyone? Recently, like just recently, I started working on some new stickers that are gonna be like new um like the freebie stickers that we give out in, in our orders. orders yeah um, yeah so they're gonna look different first of all we're changing mm. it up a little bit and we're gonna have some new designs so <gasps> that's something to look out for your future orders we'll probably like put it on stories here yeah Instagram we'll share too. more for sure cool i'm excited yeah we see those every day right 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 the packing orders right and i think it's just like a little bit of excitement when they're a new. little change, <laughs> yeah. something nice, a little refresh yeah. is nice to look forward to. Cool. Okay. For me, what's new on my end? We've just been um, talking a lot. Like the trade show is a time when like all the brands come to New York. So Neil and I have been. Um, while you and Alex were having fun <laughs> shopping around at the train show, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's what it's gonna come off as. Um, we were like just having, like going around and having as many <laughs> meetings as possible, yeah. just telling everybody about Stationery Fest um, and getting everybody really excited about it because we we're so excited. Um, and I'm happy to share that we are. Um, getting a, like a together a list of confirmed uh, participants exhibitors for the festival mm -hmm. and um, some of the names will be familiar <laughs> names such as travelers <laughs> names such as sailor um, we've been talking to our friends like CY and Abby and they'll be coming um, high tide and we've just been talking to like everyone we've ever collabed with and um, it's exciting to get like confirmations that people are gonna um, definitely be there. Um, Esterbrook is a new brand and they're, oh, they're gonna coming? be there. Uh, yeah, they're really excited about nice. it actually. Um, I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, and it's cool because Esterbrook has all those nibs that are ground by um, nib meisters and for this type of event, like you'll be able to try all the right. nibs out and stuff. So that's really cool. Um, and we'll have lots of uh, nib meisters there to do nib grinds and customizations. And yeah, even a lot of a lot of workshops are getting confirmed um, with friends like Abby mm -hmm. and Ame and more. So um, yeah, stay stay tuned for more details. I'm I'm really 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 looking forward to it. And uh, this is a question that I've gotten on Instagram and YouTube. Like we'll have signups and stuff, right? Like coming. For workshops? Yeah. yeah, we're thinking they will be through the website. So everything will just be, you'll all but just be able to like do all the workshop sign up, um, workshop shopping for uh, on the website so mm -hmm. that it's all in one place and it'll be really easy. Um, and that should be coming out like in the next couple of weeks. So look out cool. for that. Oh, and then we have been getting questions about like tickets. Some people, because um, the way the tickets have been so far is just through our website. Mm -hmm. So for now, all you have to do is hold on to your order confirmation email. We don't have like 
a printout ticket or anything like that that you have to do just hold on to that confirmation email um, and we're exploring the option of like maybe generating QR code or something for those tickets but you don't have to worry about that like you don't have to worry about any of that we'll send out more information yeah, yeah. Um, so hopefully that answers your questions for anybody who's already gotten a ticket and I really want to thank you all for getting tickets yeah. because we have gotten a really, really, really enthusiastic response from all of you. Um, and it's funny, it's because like, we hadn't really even officially shared all of these names that we're sharing now. So, um, but, but more to come. Thank you all so much who've signed up and um, there will definitely be more signups because we're all very excited. Yay. I'm excited. Yes. I wanna see the list. Yes, yeah. Um, and the event is August 7th, 8th and 9th for anybody who didn't want, miss, miss the news yeah. reports the last time. Um, yeah, so that's, that's, the, that's the updates from this week. We've, we've really, really been very busy here doing all of this and it's just been fun. I love being busy and having something exciting to work on. Um, having lots of late night calls with like people in Japan too. Right. Right. Yeah. The time difference. Too. Time difference. Yeah. Other than that, we do have some newly added stationery to talk to you guys about. And I was just looking at all these and I'm really excited about yeah. some of them. So let's start off here. And these are the new Uni Malt um, 4 plus 1 limited colors. And the colors are so nice. Yeah. They I are. Like these. They're so nice. May and I were just talking about how we both want one. Yeah. Multi pens are really functional for work. So. I don't really have one. Well, you don't? You don't have the Jetstream? No, I, I did have the Jetstream okay. and then I. I messed it up. I also <laughs> lost mine. Wait, how did you mess it up? Was, I was trying to see if um, <laughs> uni style fit refills will fit those. And then I was kind of like messing around you with You jammed them. it in there. It, yeah, it got it got messed up. Oh, so wait, really? <laughs> oh, that's tragic. Yeah, I think when you're, so with any of these multi-pens, just a disclaimer, <laughs> is if you're like messing around with the refills a lot, just pull them up slowly because <laughs> if you pull it out too fast the spring actually like coils up oh like, you can't use it anymore yeah. yeah 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 the spring is like such an essential part mm -hmm. of any pen that has a, a knock a click mechanism it can't so, be too rough with yeah like be I gentle was. with the spring <laughs> so that brings me to say I might need one. <laughs> oh, so you got, these are so these are inspired. These colors are inspired by dried flower bouquets. Mm. What are the colors again? So it's, we have hydrangea, yeah, eucalyptus, mm. rose, mm. and lavender. Ooh. So you have these like really cute like illustrations on here too. Yeah, of the flowers cute. and the colors are really nice. Which one do you like best? Which one um, would you get? I would probably get eucalyptus. Eucalyptus. Or lavender, maybe. Yeah. yeah. What about you? Which one are you gonna get? <laughs> I don't. I actually don't know. I would like all of them. Well, I would probably get one of these three, actually. These three mm, are, okay. are more of my colors. Mm -hmm. um, but they're all really pretty. Yeah. These are limited, so if you like them, you should scoop them up. Very cute. And they are four plus one. <laughs> we yeah. haven't said anything about them. <laughs> We're just like the colors. Four plus one is because they are four colors. So you have black, blue, green, and red. And then this, the clip, is actually, surprise, a mechanical pencil. I think it's a 0.5 mechanical pencil. Yeah, a 0.5 mechanical pencil, mm -hmm. sharp. Cool. Yeah. There is an eraser on the back. Always is. Yeah. Always is. I love that. Um, yeah, so these are great. So next up, we have, I don't know, where do you wanna, what do you wanna talk about next? I wanna talk about Oh, you this. do? <laughs> what is it, black box? So this is a pencil case or pen case from Raymay. Mm. And it's a really cool one. Wow. Um, so it's got a magnetic um, closure. Yeah. And what's cool about it is this thing flips up like that. Uh -huh. and you can place your pens in here so mm -hmm. they don't roll around in the case. Right. Yeah. And there's some space underneath too, so you can have like a ruler yeah. or something flat yeah. under your pencils. And there's a little cubby here for your eraser or 
correction tape or anything like that. Mm -hmm. And it also has like cool like anti-slip yeah. like, grippy things here. This so is, can, I didn't realize this was grippy. Yeah, so you can flip it up like this. And if you have it on your desk, it's not gonna like move. Uh-huh. This, you guys, is also like, this is what it looks like, the magnetic. It's like, it's funny, it's like business on the outside, party on the inside. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I wanted to talk about this because it's like so nostalgic. It's nostalgic, for me. Yeah, yeah, it is. Like, I think it was like in the elementary school, everyone had these. Yes, but they were also really colorful on the yeah. inside too, and they often had like character illustrations mm. on the outside. Um, I was telling Daisy. I know, tell I, everybody. <laughs> I had a really cool one that had like two tiers in the inside. Uh -huh. So the first one was really like shallow, yeah. but it wasn't for your pencils. <laughs> it was, Crazy. it had like a soccer field on it it's and so you could funny. flip up the goal post. So funny. And it came with like a little like puck and like a little stick to play soccer on it. Oh my God, basically. that's so funny. Yeah. Um, yeah, they should bring that back, right? <laughs> but how cute. And then, I, I think I always had these tags too, and I forget mm. what they were. I never like used I them. I think they're for like your class schedule. schedule. Yeah, uh, but I, I don't think I ever used mine. Mm. I just kind of like left it in there or something. But yeah, this is really nostalgic and yeah. brings back memories. It's very nice. Did you That's use cool. one when you were a kid? Let us know. Let us know if you had a soccer one. <laughs> <laughs> there are some crazy ones. You guys didn't have like the crazy ones? I had crazy ones, but they were all like, Crazy colors? No, like functional. Like, um, like mine had like sharpener on the oh, side right, right. and like um, compartments, like mm. drawer compartments and things like that. But not, not like a, a game, soccer. not like a full game <laughs> that you could play, which is cool, very cool. Okay, so that's really fun and nostalgic. And then we also have some new um, J Urban inks. These are. Fun. They're in these like little glass bottles and these are pigment inks that are not They are not fountain pen friendly. They're mm. just for your dip pens um, and they're also safe for brushes So um, you can use them for artwork and things mm. like that and um, if you do lettering with um, Dip pens, they are very pretty. So here are some samples that Ashley they're okay. really like Cool metallic. So these three are metallic pigment, and they show up really well on black paper, as you can see. Mm. But the metallic ones do show up pretty well on white paper too. Yeah, not the white and the silver. Right. Yeah. And then there's this phosphorescent <laughs> one. I don't think we can. Show I don't understand. It very well right now. Does it glow in the dark? Yeah. Oh wow. Yes. Look at this, you guys. Look at this ink. <laughs> it's it's kind of scary. It it's glow in the dark ink. Yeah, it's really cool. I, w I wonder what would happen if you put this whole bottle in the dark. It would probably glow, mm. right? Someone should put this in the glow in the dark twisty. No, these are not fountain friendly, Mae. Oh. <laughs> Don't <laughs> listen to get me. People in trouble. <laughs> but yeah, these are fun. They, they look fun in the yeah. bottle too. They look like nail polish. Mm -hmm. They remind me of nail polish. This is the gold one. Yeah. I really like the idea of the white pigment ink mm -hmm. because when you're doing drawings at least i guess a lot of people use white gel pens yes. to give like highlights right well you could use this yes that's and, like, true control your line width and everything Ooh, yeah i actually do get asked from time to time in store if there is white ink and right. i'm happy that now we have white ink um and this isn't a new product from urban but it's it's mm. new to us so um yeah We'll be excited to try these out and let us know in the comments if you have experience with these and you've, maybe you've drawn with them before or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, um, okay. Also new this week, we have new Bondé. These are fun. Um, these are just some of the new designs. So some of them are like two rolls, like this is two rolls. So it's a roll of like the classic Bondé and then a roll of just washi tape that it has like a similar theme. So um, 
These are so cute. This is strawberry wreath. They've done strawberries before. I think they do yeah. a lot of fruits, but this one's like a different illustration yeah. style. And then this one's my favorite. Look at these designs. <laughs> What are they doing? Um, these are called people who live in notebooks. Oh. <laughs> isn't that cute? They're just like... Oh my god, it's so yeah. cute. Isn't that so cute? So you you can use them mm. with your monthly. Oh my god, look at this cat one. Yeah, how cute! Yeah. And then I'm loving this one too. This one yeah, is cute. Embroidery Forest in Bloom. So all of these are like embroider, mm. embroidered um, Style. styles. Yeah. And they're little like forest friends. Mm -hmm. Really cute. Really cute. I like these because like if you're using them in your like planner, yeah. you don't have to worry about your washi tape matching your stickers basically. You don't have oh. to go look for a washi tape that matches like the vibe of this, you know? Oh, is that why? I've kind of always wondered why, but that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, that, that makes a lot of sense. Um, very cool. Yeah, this one is cute too. This one's called Marie Marie Boutique. It's like it's like little clothing shop. Yeah. All right, so that's New Bondé. And then the last thing that we have is these new Kutsua mask templates stencils slash washi cutters super cool a little intimidating yeah probably. yeah they yeah. they take a little bit of getting used to to use i think so um these are stencils the stencils themselves are so cute and then um the edges here are actually serrated so they're kind of sharp and mm. um you use them to cut washi tape you would just kind of like like, mm -hmm. you know, put the washi tape under and then rip up on this edge here. So it's very, it's a very cool idea. I have a little sample that Often prepared for us. Bless Often. <laughs> <laughs> he took some time to do this. Um, but they're so, so cute. Cool. Look at this panda yeah. popping out from underneath the. So these are like the stencil. Right. Drawing. So these are the stencil drawing, and he actually colored some of them in. Um, you do have to use a really fine pen because look mm -hmm. at how yeah. fine and precise those details are like to mm. really get into these edges oh look at this it's like a pencil yeah it's a pencil it's so cool isn't that cute and this would be cute like like yeah. right like on a little little thing in your journal mm. um <clears throat> and like these are all the edges that you can make right exactly i i think it's really cool because the other tape cutter that we got from kutua like mm -hmm. with the ribbon edges and whatever. Yeah. Um, they could be a little bit bulky mm. in your pencil case. Right. And this will be very flat. It's more travel friendly yeah. for sure. And you can use, I feel like you can use parts like this top part right. to wrap washi tape around. That's oh. what I was going to say. To travel with your washi tape. So if you're going on a trip. Mm. Okay, so I think that's about it for the newly added stationery. There's some very cute additions, very fun for journaling and um, just like stationery loving. Um, so that's about it for the newly added stationery. And then in store this past week, we had some visitors. Um, Neil and I have been like super busy with like <laughs> event planning. Yeah. So I didn't actually personally get to like visit, like see a lot of people who visited the store, but. Ashley was telling me she helped out this customer, Delana, who recently published a book called Redwood Court. And um, she came into the shop looking for a pen to sign and autograph the books. Ooh, wait, yeah. that's really exciting. Yeah. What do you think she chose? It's a fountain pen. Ooh, really? Yeah. I don't know. It's a hard, it's a hard guess, yeah. but, but it's a good choice once you know. So she ended up going with the cu Pilot Custom 823 in a broad nib wow. with ink choice. Ashley's story is very complete um, with Pilot Hiroshizuku Murasaki Shikibu because that's a bright purple ink and apparently it matches the artwork of the cover that's of the book. That's really nice. Yeah. 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 I love that she got a pen just specifically for that. I love that. Yeah. yeah I love that. I like so special like such a special pen. Yes. <laughs> such a special pen. I think a lot of people do that where they like get um, there's like a life thing that happens and they maybe get a fountain pen mm -hmm. to mark that like 
a, like that uh, accomplishment or whatever it is. So um, congratulations to you, Delana, on writing your book and getting it published. And I hope you autograph a million of them <laughs> with your 823. And I hope you love your 823. Wait, she got the smoke? Oh, I don't know the color. Yeah. Like smoke would go better with the purple. I the guess. purple. Yeah, probably. Probably. <laughs> yeah. So that wraps it up for this episode of Catching Up with Yoseka. And I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you all are getting excited for Stationery Fest. Um, we asked some interesting questions in this episode. Let us know in the comments if you have used these inks before to draw with. Let us know if you have a favorite. I would like to know if you have a favorite autographing pen. Like, do you have a pen that you sign with? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And thank you all so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next episode. Thank you. Bye.